Well, I've been blessed and I'm I'm full already. Buvo palaimintas ir jau esu pasisotinis. Jau dabar. So it's time for another meal. God's word. Dabar laikas kitam patiekalui, Dievo žodžiu. I appreciate the testimonies this morning that were shared. Aš vertinu dėkoju jums žliudimus širyt. And really it, it fits in with what I want to share today. Ir tai tinka tai temai, kurią aš pamokslausiu šiandien. And since I picked up this book this morning, I wasn't planning on talking about this or beginning my sermon this way. Širyta atsivežiu tokią knygą, nors neplanavau apie ją kalbėti ir pradėti pamokslą. The Missing Piece. Va nesitrūkstama detalė. It's a children's book. Čia vaikam knyga. About this little guy, little round guy. He looks sad. Apie tokį apvalų, mažą vaikinuką. And he's rolling around. And all he says is, I'm looking for my missing piece, I'm looking for my missing piece. Jisai visur ridenas ir sako, ieškau savo trūkstamas detalės. He keeps finding these things and he thinks that this may be the missing piece. Suranda įvairius dalykus, galvoja, kad čia jo yra detalė. But it's not. Bet tai nebūna. And he has all kinds of different difficulties. Jam biškila visokių sunkumų. Different walls and things he faces. Sienus, iš kuriam susitrenkia jisai. And um, He finally finds his missing piece. And he's able to roll smoothly. But the book has a kind of a strange ending. He leaves his missing piece and he continues his journey of searching. Ir toliau eina ieškoti. And what I see in that is a, is a misunderstanding of Ir tame aš matau nesupratimą of the Christian life. Krikščionio gyvenimo. Our searching for God begins at conversion. Mūsų Dievo paaiškos prasideda nuo atsivertimo. It doesn't end there. O ne pasibaigia juo. Do you understand that? Ar suprantat? Sometimes we think we come to Christ and now our seeking stops. Kartais mes galvojame taip, atėjom pas Kristu ir dabar paaiškos baigėsi. And now since I'm not seeking I, I don't know what to do with my life. Ir kadangi jau nebeiešku, tai nelabai ir turiu tikslo ką daryti gyvenime. But here is the truth. Bet tiesa yra štai kokia. That the Christian life, that the seeking or seeking after the knowledge of God, it begins at conversion. Kad krikščioniškam gyvenime tas ieškojamas dievo pažinimo ieškojamas prasideda nuo atsivertimo. When God gives us a new heart and a new mind. Ir Dievas duoda mums naują širdį ir naują protą. And then the entirety of the Christian life is one of seeking to know God and to glorify him forever. Ir tada visas krikščioniškas gyvenimas yra kai ieškome pažinti Dievą ir pašlovinti jam žinai. And this needs to be the lens okay, that we see life through. Ir tai turi būti tas lešis, per kurį mes žiūrim į gyvenimą. It's a pursuit of knowing God. Kada ieškome pažinti Dievą. And I've said this to our church dozens of times over the past months and maybe they're getting tired of hearing me say this. But we have guests here so I can say it again. But I was planning on saying it so I'm saying it anyway, okay? Everything in our Christian life comes from this comes from knowing God, the true God, the God of the Scriptures. And it's the knowledge of God that, that stirs in us love for Him. And that's what we'll talk about again this morning. Something that's big enough that is able to join us all together as one, one body. Uh, that would give us true unity. 
Lasting joy. Lasting joy. Lasting joy. And motivation. And motivation. Um, to press forward regardless of feelings um, regardless of circumstances and what is this one thing? It is our pursuit of God. The true God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One more thought and then we'll pray. When I speak of this, the importance of, of, of truly knowing God, being captivated with the knowledge of who God is, what He has done. Again, I see this as... as um, Something that is um, is um, I can just think of Lithuanian uh, word, but very important. Butanas. Nature keep on whisking. Necessary. We can't live without it. And um, I just sometimes when. There is. Uh, I have a thought, or, or, or God is, is 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 teaching me something. I hear the same thing everywhere. This podcast, that podcast, this book, this song. All of a sudden, everything is saying the same thing, same thing, same thing. I was listening to a, a podcast that was um, just, just, it was just on the playlist, and I started listening to it. And it was a question and answer at the end of a seminar. And the question was this: um, What do our future leaders, and really he was speaking about men, what do our future men need to hear? And why are men today generally passive? Especially we think about um, in the church. And I don't like to use this term spiritual life, but I'll say spiritual life anyway. Why is it that men seem to be so passive. What do they need? What do we need? And the answer is this, is this true knowledge of God. This high knowledge of God. This Biblical knowledge of God. Not Lithuanian's devulis, this little God you can have. You can put in your pocket. And when you want him, you get him out and you kind of brush him off and you put him on your table. But the knowledge of the true God, Almighty God, Bet Creator, Savior. That's what we need. The fear of the Lord. That we'd be in awe as we think of who God is and what He has done. He's awesome. He's wonderful. Our mind can't fully comprehend his goodness and we're seeking him, seeking him, 
seeking him. Kad mes suprastumėm jo gerumą ir ieškotumėm jo, ieškotumėm. And I'll say it again, I believe everything we do relates to that. Ir aš manau, kad visą ką darom yra susijęs su tuo. Do we see him as holy? Ar matom jį kaip šventą? Holy, holy, holy. Šventas, šventas, šventas. Do we see him as our creator? Ar matom jį kaip savo kūrėją? That means he owns us. Ir kad priklausom jam. Do we see him as our redeemer? Ar matom jį kaip atpirkėją? That means he bought us. Tai reiškia, jis atpirko mus. That means our lives belong to him. Tai reiškia, mūsų gyvenimai priklauso jam. We are no longer our own. Mes nebesam mūsų pačių. Bought with a price. Mes atpirkti už didelę kainą. Therefore we must glorify God in our bodies. Todėl turim šlovinti Dievą. This understanding of God. Savo kūne. Ir tai apie tokį pažinimą kalbu. This knowledge is what unifies us. Toks pažinimas suvienia mus. This knowledge is what activates us as a church body to go forth with passion to live and to serve. Tai mūsų kaip Kristaus kūna, kaip bendruomenė aktyvuoja, kad eitumėm ir gyventumėm jam su aistra. John Calvin said this. Jonas Kalvinas sakė taip. We cannot truly know ourselves without first having a true knowledge of God. Kad savęs mes nepažinsim jį anksčiau, nepažinsim Dievą. And he's right. Jis teisus. Let's pray. Melskinas. Father, as we come to your word, we we want to bow down. We must bow down and acknowledge, Father, you as our creator, as our savior, as our sovereign Lord and King, And we pray that, Father, that you would be glorified in all that we do now as we sit here and listen to your word. Lord, make our hearts and our minds ready to receive. Open our eyes to see your glory. Open our minds to understand your word and see our purpose. And may, Lord, this, and may our, our search to know you, may it unify us and unite us. As one body, as one people. Lord, be glorified. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your patience and kindness. Teach us. Here we are. Speak. And may we have ears to hear. In Christ's name. Amen. 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 Take your Bibles and turn to Deuteronomy chapter 6. This is the third time we're speaking from this text. And again, this the context of this, this text is that The children of Israel were gathered on the east side of the Jordan River. They were preparing, preparing to enter the promised land. To begin this conquest. This conquest of the land um, in preparation for rest and to have this land of, of milk and honey. Moses gathers the people together and he 
preaches to them the word of God. He goes over God's law, yes, God's commandments. Jis kalbajam apie Dievų įstatymų, įstatymą, apie jo įsakymus. And in these verses, ir pa to tos įūtės, we see really, really God's plan for His people. Čia matome Dievą planą jo tautai. Then, tuomet, and now, ir dabar. His plan for blessing, jo planą palaiminimams, His plan for influence, įtak, įtakai, His plan for joy. His plan for rest. God is saying, I want you to enter into this land. I want you to enter it into rest. I will bless you. Can we get the screen on here? Simai, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. And so, Robert, just go ahead and verses, read verses 1 through 3 in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Pakartotai įstatymą šešta, skirius nuo pirmos iki trečios. Šitie yra įsakymai, nuostata ir paliepimai, kurių viešpats jūsų Dievas įsakė jūs mokyti, kad jos vykdytumėt žemėje, kurią užimsite, kad jūs, jūsų vaikai ir vaikaičiai, per visas suvadinas bijotumėt viešpatės suvo Dievo, ir laikytumėtės visų jo paliepimų bei įsakymų, kuriuos jums skelbiu, ir ilgai gyventumėt. Klausyk, Izraelį, ir upestingai vykdi, ką viešpats įsako. Tuomet tau gerai sėksis, ir tu labai išsiplėsi, kaip viešpats tavo tėvų dievas pažadėjo tau, pienų ir medumi plūstančioje šalyje. Amen. So the first thing Moses says to the nation is, hear the word of God. Pirma, ką Mozes sako, Klausykitės viešpatės žodžiom. Hear the word of God. Klausyk viešpatės žodžiom. Here are God's commandments. Klausykit jo įsakymų. Here are God's statutes and his rules. Jo nuostatų, jo taisyklių. These are not suggestions. Tai nėra pasiūlymai. God speaks. Dievas kalba. He's making his moral will clear. Savo moralinę valią jis aiškiai pasakė. He's giving his people an order, a structure to live under that will bring blessing. Jis davė savo tautai tvarką, struktūrą, po kurią gyvendami jie bus palaiminti. So again, I cannot emphasize enough the importance for us to hear the word of God. Negaliu pakankamai pabrėžti Per daug pabrėžti tos svarbos, klausyti Dievo žodžių. The psalm says, Oh, how I love your word. It is my meditation day and night. Salmininkas sako, O, kaip myliu tavo žodį, mastu apie jį dieną ir naktį. Do we think that way? Ar mes mastum taip? Do we love his word? Ar mes mylim jo žodį? Is it our meditation day and night? Ar mastum apie jį dieną ir naktį? Hear the word, Moses says. Moses sako, klausykit žodžio. Then he says, be careful and diligent to do the word. Ir po to, žiūrėkit stropį, vykdykit jį. And he summarizes this by this sentence, fear the Lord, your God. O, papibendrinu tokius frazę, bijok viešpatė savo Dievo. And this is an accurate description of what it means to To love God. You want to honor Him. You want to know Him. You want to worship Him. You want to give Him the glory that He alone is worthy of. And again, I want to stress this, this truth that Our, it's our knowledge of God that affects every other thing. Our love for Him, how we think, what we do, our values. Kad būtent Dievo pažinimas veikia visą kitą. Ar jį mylėme, ar kaip, ką mes darom, kokios bus mūsų vertybės. The more we know God, the more we should love Him. 
ko labiau pažįstam Dievą, to labiau turim jį mylėti. It's the same in marriage. Lygiai taip pat kaip santokui. Marriage is this pursuit of trying to know your spouse. Santoka tai yra tas kelionė, kai tu bandai pažinti savo sutaktinį. To love ir mylėti your spouse. Savo sutaktinį. That knowledge and love are related together. Ir tas pažinimas ir meilė jie susiję. I want to encourage you to be on the pursuit of knowing God. Noriu paraginti, kad jūs irgi būtumėt toje kelionėje Dievo pažinimo. Thinking about His attributes. Galvotumėt apie Jo savybės. Memorize the Psalms. Mokykite esminti nai psalmės. Memorize the Psalms. Memorize the Scriptures. Mokykite kitas raštų vietas that speak about God's attributes. I would encourage you to memorize Psalm 139. Four things about this psalm. We should be amazed. It begins with the fact that God knows us. Intimately. He knows when we sit down and rise up. He knows our thoughts from afar. Even before a word is on our tongue, behold, he knows it. Understand this. This is not this like some kind of common knowledge that God has. David said, God knows me. He knows you. Everything. He's omniscient. But not far away, he's personal. The second thing that David says is that God is with me. If I ascend to heaven, you're there, God. Make my bed and shield, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and I go to the farthest part of the sea, God, even, you're there, too. You're like this good shepherd. You're, you're before me and you're behind me. You care for me. Tu kaip geras ganytojas, tu prieš mane ir už pakalį ir manęs tu rūpinėsi manim. You lay your right hand upon me. Tu uždėdi savo dešinę ant manęs. Think about these things. Pagalbokim apie tos dalykus. God knows us Dievas pažįsta mus intimately artimai and he wants to be with us. Ir jis nori būti su mumis. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Geriau nei mes patys. David is not done. He goes on to say that God made me. He knit me together in my mother's womb. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. In this knowledge of who God is and what he has done, it brings David to this prayer. You see, Oh, search me and know me. Try me. See if there's any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. This is an awesome God. And I believe it's, it's when we begin to think more and more, the same way about God is, God is going to create greater and greater unity and greater and greater passion. And Moses is speaking here, giving these commands to three generations. To you, to your son, and to your son's son. It's so important, and I've said this a hundred times, hundred and one, that we have this long-term thinking. 
jau šimtą kartą skalbėjau apie tai jau labai svarbu mąstyti ilgalaikę perspektyvą. Ir vėl 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 Ir tai padeda mums neprarasti viltinį. Because God is faithful. Nes Dievas yra ištikimas. And he's made a plan. Jis sukūrė planą. And we stick to that plan. Ir mes laikomės to plano. And we'll see the plan that we keep praying, we keep teaching, we keep loving. Mes toliau meldžiamės, mokome, toliau mylim. We keep covenant with God. Toliau išliekam sandorį. Husband and wives keep covenant to one another. Su Dievu, vyras su žmona. Parents keep covenant to children. Ir vaikai, tėvai su vaikais. And we trust that God in His time will bring life. Ir pasitikėm, kad šį kartą Dievas atneš gyvybę. You see, we parent by faith. Mes augino vaikus tikėjimu. Faith in God. Tikėjimu Dievu. Faith in His Word. Tikėjimu Jo žodžiu. We parent by faith. Mes augino vaikus tikėjimu. God gives us a plan. Dievas mum duoda planą. But raising children is not like baking a cake. Bet vaikas šaugintai ne piragą iškėpti. We just don't add the ingredients. Nėra taip, kad tik pridedė visus ingredientus. Like, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. O, ta, ta, ta įdėjau. And God does this. Ir tada jau padarai viską iš kartą. And it all turns out the same every time. Ir visada galvonas taip pat. No. No. We parent by faith. Augino vaikus tikėjimu. Following God's plan. Sėkdami Dievo plan. Trusting in God's sovereignty. Pastikėdami Dievo visą. To bring His fruit, His change at His time for His glory. Ta vaisiu atneš ir pasikeitimą savo laiku ir savo šlovį. So, I want you to begin to think bigger. Noriu, kad pradėtume mąstyti plačiau. You have a baby. Turite kūdikį. Think about that baby's child. Galvokit apie to kūdikio vaiką. Think about what you're doing now that's going to affect your child and your child's child. Tai, ką jūs darote dabar, pabeigs ir jūsų vaiką, ir jūsų vaikų vaiką, vaiko vaikus. Build on the right foundation. Tokio viltis. The right statykime ant tinkamo pamato. Materials. Tinkamomis. For the right purpose, God's glory. And see what God does, generationally. Tinkamo tikslu, tai yra Dievo šlovė. Ir žiūrėkim, ką Dievas padarys. And God promises blessing. Dievas pažada palaiminimą. I like how 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 simple God makes it. Man patinka kaip Dievas padarė tai paprastai. He says, "Keep all of my commandments all the days of your life." Jis sako, vykdyk visus mano įsakymus per visą savo gyvenimo dienas. That's the plan. Nu toks yra planas. The plan of blessing. Palaiminimo planas. This is the life that God calls us to live. Tai yra kaip Dievas pašaukė mus gyventi. His word gives life. Žodis duoda gyvybę. His word gives light. Jis duoda šviesą. His word gives hope. Duoda viltį. His word gives correction that we need. Jis duoda pataisymą, kurio mums reikia. His word is real food. Jo žodis yra tikras maistas. It feeds our soul. Jis pamaitina mūsų sielą. Then Moses he turns to the family. If we can go to the next slide, guys, back there. Moses, krepesiu i ishema. This is what he says. He says, "Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one." Again, this is knowledge of God first. O sik Israeli, vėš pas mūsų dievas yra vienintelis dievas. Then you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Toliau, penktai ūtė, miliek viešpatį savo Dievą visą širdimį, visą sėlą ir visą visą sėlą. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. Šitie žodžiai, kurias tau šiandien skailbiu, te pasilieka tavo širdyje. And then we'll see that God says, take these things and teach them to your children. Dievas sako, im kitos dalykus mokykit savo vaikus juo. This is intentional living. Gyvenimas darant kažką su intencijai specialiai. We'll see it is continual. 
Okay. Day after day, day after day, we have this intention, this purpose behind what we're doing. And we'll see it's comprehensive. Everything. We love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our might, with everything. There is to be intentionality behind all that we do. Okay. And we do it again and again and again and again. And it's comprehensive. It includes everything. Knowledge leads to love. I'm way off my script. That's okay. The Apostle Paul says this. Apostle Paul says this. Second Corinthians 5:14. Corinthians 5:14. Andros Corinthians. I think it's up there somewhere. Andros Corinthians. He says, "For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this." That one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who might live no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. The love of Christ is powerful. It has potential to influence and change all that we do. This is how Spurgeon described it. He said, if you were to ask the Apostle Paul, why are you doing this? Why all the pain, all the trials? Spurgeon said, this is how Paul would reply. I have received the love of Christ. And that is sufficient. That's all that is needed. What controls us? What motivates us? What is the driving force behind all that we do? It should be the knowledge of Christ and the love of Christ. Amen. Amen. And these words, Moses said, must be on our heart. It's not, a, it's not a knowledge problem for most of all, it's a heart problem. It's what is the center of our affections. That's the problem. What do we love? What are we seeking? These words are to be in our heart. How do they get there? We hear the word. We read the word. We're taught the word. That's how it gets there. And verses 7 through 9, if you can go there, verses 7 through 9. Guys. Here we go. Listen. As Moses is, is talking to the nation, okay, but actually he's, he's talking to individual families. Did you hear me? He's talking to individual families. And specifically, he's talking to the fathers. 
who have been given by God this headship or rule over the family. Patriarchy. It's a bad word today. It's not good we think this sometimes. Do you know what it means? Patriarchy it means father rule. Simple. Father rule. That's God's design. Fathers, hear me. We have responsibility for our sins and our family sins. Okay. We are, in a sense, this person that God has placed to have this loving, ruling, caring, providing position over our families. Dievas mus patalpinu tą poziciją, kur turim mylėti, rūpinti šeimą, aprūpinti ją. Saugoti. Saugoti taip. This is what he says. This is Moses. He's speaking to the nation, to families, to fathers. I heard this quotation. I don't know how it's going to come out. So it goes like this. The spiritual condition of the father affects the family. And the spiritual condition of the family affects the church. And the spiritual condition of the church affects the culture. It starts, really, it starts in the life of men women in the family. Did you hear me? This is good news. Because this is where real change takes place. Real change. Generational change. You, your son, your son's son. Doesn't that sound good? Man labai gerai skambėjo. Sounds incredible to me. God working in me and my son and my son's sons. And we get to be a part of that work. So what do we do? We teach. Listen, you shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk of them when you sit down in your house and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand. They shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. <laughs> Guldamas ir atsikeldamas, prisitvirtink juos kaip ženklą prie savo rankos ir prie kaktos. Užrašyk juos ant durų staktų ir savo kiemo vartų. Toks Dievo planas. Jis labai aiškiai pasako. Mes tėvai turim būti mokytojais. Turim savo vaikus mokyti Dievo dalykų. Turim savo vaikus. Always, intentionally, and diligently. From before our children are born and all through their lives. It's a conversation. An ongoing conversation about the greatness and the glory and the salvation of God. Apie Dievo didybę, šlovę ir išgelbėjimą. Ir turim būti pasiruošę. Ir viską, kas vyksta aplink, per tai rodyti į Dievą ir į Kristų. Vėl ir vėl ir vėl. 
When we sit down to eat. If you're not eating together at least one time a day, make sure parents that you have a meal together. Jeigu jūs nevalgot kartu su šeima bent vieną kartą dieną, tai pasižiūrėkit, pasistengkit, kad tai darytumėt bent kartą dieną. Pray together. Melskites kartu. Open the scriptures, read something. Atsiverskite raštą, kažką paskaitykite. Read your children good books. Skaitykite vaikam geras. Tell them stories of your life. My children love to hear my stories. Pasakokit jiems savo gyvenimo istorijas. Mano vaikai tiesiog dievino tokias. Speak about God's goodness, his glory. Kalbėkite apie Dievo gerumą ir jo šlovę. When you rise up and when you go to bed. Tai kelies ir tai negult. These end points, the beginning of the day, at the end of the day. Tai tokie galiniai taškai, dienos pradžia ir dienos pabaigai. Begin the day blessing God, blessing your children. Pradėk dieną laimindamas Dievui. Vaikus. End the day the same way, blessing them, loving them, teaching them. Ir pabaig dieną tokiu pat būdu, palaimindas, palaimindamas ir mokydamas juos. It's to be diligent is to be careful. And as we heard today, it's never too late to start. I'm not saying this to shame us. I'm not saying this to shame us. I'm still learning this. I don't know how many times Mary and I have had this conversation. Oh, why didn't we do this earlier? That God is faithful. We to be continually learning. This gives hope. And again, this, this long, to, we're to be like the farmer Turim būti kaip ūkininkas. Okay. Farmers are, they work hard. Jie daug dirba sunkiai. They make the soil ready. They Va, plant the right seed. Paruošia dirba, sodino tinkamą sieklą. They water the seed. O to laisvai. God causes the growth and God only. Dievas augina, tik Dievas augina. But the Christian life is like, is this garden and where we need to be continually pulling weeds. Bet mes savo daržę turim nuolat ar vėt pikžulės. Living this life of joyful repentance before God. But we need to teach our children. We need to, to catechize our children. Let me just read two questions. Okay. I just want to see where we're at, okay? These are things that should be fixed on our mind. Tokie dalykai turėtų būti rėšti mums ir pradėtis kiekvieno iš mūsų. From our child who is two, who can begin to reason until we are however old we are. Nuo vaiko, kuris dviejų metų ir tik pradeda mąstyti, kokio amžiaus be būtų. Who is the first and best of things? Kas yra pirmas ir geriausias iš visko? How do we answer that? Kaip atsakytume? Michael Jordan? Jūs Michael Jordanas. No. God is the first and best of things. Dievas yra pirmiausias ir geriausias iš visų. It should be automatic. Okay. Tai turėtų būti automatinis atsakymas. What is the purpose of man? Koks yra žmogaus tikslas? Man's purpose is to know God and to glorify him forever. Žmogaus tikslas pažinti Dievą ir šlovinti jam, žinai. We teach, we teach. Mes mokom, mokom. We live and we live and we live. Gyvenam, gyvenam ir gyvenam. We model it and we model it and we model it. Modeliuojam ir modeliuojam ir modeliuojam. Day after day, day after day. Dieną iš dienos. For God's glory. Dieną iš dienos Dievo šlovė. Verse 8 and 9 says, we, we bind them as a sign on our hand. We write them as frontlets between our eyes. Verse 9, they are to be on the doorposts of our house, our gates. 8.9. Prisitvirtink juos kaip ženklą prie savo rankos ir prie kaktos. Užrašyk jos ant durų staktų ir savo kiemo vartų. Prieš daug metų aš skridau į Kievą. Ir grįžau iš Amerikos. 
And I woke up in the middle of the flight. And you know, so you can be like tired, you feel like you're in a dream or something, you feel like this heavy tiredness and you're opening your eyes. And I opened the eyes and I saw all these men standing up, had their hats on, they had these little boxes on their heads, they had these things wrapped around their arms and they were They were praying. I thought, where am I? What happened? Where am I? I was and I really thought somebody had died on the airplane and there was a, a service going on or something. I I'm not speaking here of just external religion. But about intentionality. Our hands. All that we do. Between our eyes. All that we see. All that we think is to be God-centered for His glory. And we teach this to our children. Remember taking my children and said, look at your hands. Who gave you these hands? God did. Why? To love your mommy, to hug your mommy, to help your mommy. I say, stick out your tongue. Who gave you that tongue? God gave you that tongue. Why? To say, I love you. To say, forgive me. This intentionality, teaching, teaching, teaching. All that we do with our hands, all that we see with our eyes, all that we think in our minds to the glory of God. And our home and our flats are to be marked out as belonging to God. Intentionally. There be shut, there should be something as you go into your flat or your house that says, this is God's property. Women, this is your, this is your, your home is yours. Beautify it. All the rooms in the house should be pointing us to God. This is a place that we eat. We eat to the glory of God. This is our living room. And we fellowship to the glory of God. It's intentional. It's planned out. What a plan that God gives us. What a God that we serve. Listen. If we have the wrong view of God, we have the wrong view of self. have the wrong view of family. have the wrong view of church. The wrong view of culture. The wrong view of everything. We shouldn't be surprised if we start our journey off the wrong place. If we have the wrong map, the wrong compass, that we're lost. One of my calling is to do to seek God to know Him, to fear Him, to live for His glory, to live, I love this Latin phrase, quorum Deo. Quorum, quorum Deo. Before the face of God. Young guys, this is a great way to impress women. You can throw out a Latin phrase here. Yeah. 
before the face of God. That's how we live. We live in God's presence. Everywhere, always, in all things. That's big. That's glorious. That changes everything. Let me close by reading a verse from Psalm 27. We find it verse 4 and then verse I believe it's verse 8. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Vienu daliko prašau viešpatė ir to vienu trokštu gyventi viešpatės namuose Per visas savo gyvenimo dienas stebėti viešpatės grožį ir lankyti jo šventyklą. You have said, seek my face and my heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Kai tu pasakėjai, ieškokite mano veido, mano širdis tavo sakė, tavo veido viešpatė aš ieškuosiu. So I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would take your word and and do what only you can do. Transform our hearts and our minds. Open our eyes to see your glory, your grace, your mercy, your patience, your kindness that are new every morning. And may this knowledge cause us to this, have this desire to, to seek to pursue your face. To want to dwell in your presence. To gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in your temple. To fellowship with you. But we give to you our, our hearts, our marriages, our families, this church. And we ask that you would work and be glorified in all these things. Thank you that you are so kind to forgive us. So patient and faithful in leading us. And I just pray that you would find us faithful, Lord. Be glorified in all these things. Hear our prayer. In Christ's name. Christos Vardu. Amen. Thank you. Amen.